A vision document aimed at making India a developed country is in its final stages and a draft is expected to be ready by December, Naiti Aayog CEO BVR Subramanyam said on Sunday. The document will be made public in three months, he added. Ten sectoral groups of secretaries SGOS, from various ministries created around themes including infrastructure, welfare, commerce and industry, technology and governance, have each prepared a vision document in a process that lasted nearly two years. NITI Ayog, which was tasked with the consolidation of the 10 sectoral thematic visions in July this year, has also forecasted that India's economy will be worth $30 trillion in 2047, with a per capita GDP of $17,590. While Subramanyam did not divulge on the content of the draft vision document being consolidated by NITI Ayog, he added that the document states the sectors and technologies in which India should be leading by 2047 and addresses institutional and structural reforms required to get there. He also stated that the final Vixit Bharat at 2047 document will be critical in helping India avoid the middle-income trap, which remains a major concern in policy circles. Subramanyam shared that the 10 SGOS started preparing their respective vision documents in December 2021 based on guidance notes and common economic parameters and projections given by the Ministry of Finance. The 10 SGOS, based on themes of rural and agriculture, infrastructure, resources, social vision, welfare, finance and economy, commerce and industry, technology, governance and security and foreign affairs, have also undertaken widespread consultations with various think tanks, research institutions, industry chambers, and export promotion councils. For example, the SGOG on Commerce and Industry consulted over 20,000 people. The Apex Policy Think Tank has also announced plans for consultation with thought leaders like Mukesh Ambani, Gautam Adani, Nandan Nilakani, and Chandra Sekharan, among several others in the final week of November. The 10 SGOS have also created their vision documents, keeping in mind eight megatrends expected to shape the world by 2050 which include India and Africa's evolving demography, higher income polarization, upsurge in climatic catastrophes, and various disruptive trends relating to technological advances and geopolitical risks. NITI Ayog is also helping Gujarat and Andhra Pradesh prepare their vision documents while other states like Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Goa, and Uttarakhand are preparing their documents independently. When asked about how NITI Ayog plans to align state's vision documents with the national vision document, Subramanyam said, That's one of the questions we're struggling with. I think NITI will have to do some hand-holding. The good thing is that most of the states are only preparing vision documents for the next five years while we're doing it for much longer. We will play a role from now on as it's a serious exercise. The preliminary results from NITI AYOG's forecasting also predict that India's exports will be valued at $8.67 trillion in 2047, while its imports will be valued at $12.12 trillion. The Apex Policy Think Tank also predicts India's average life expectancy to jump to 71.8 from 67.2 in 2021 and its literacy rate to 89.8% from 77.8% in 2021. 2047 will be a very different India. It will be highly urbanized. Where we live, the way we move, the kind of jobs we do, what we eat, things are going to change massively by that time. The way the government is structured also has to change, Subramanyam said. He added that the government needs radical restructuring both horizontally and vertically, such that the lower levels of government be entirely tasked with implementation so that senior officials can spend more time ideating last week. It was announced that the consulting firm BCG has also been hired by the government to assist in preparing the Vixit Bharat at 2047 document, which was first envisaged by PM Modi in December 2021. India isn't just growing domestically, it's making its mark globally too. This is not just a statement, but a testament to the country's unwavering spirit and relentless pursuit of progress. India, once known as the golden bird for its wealth and prosperity, is now soaring high again on the global stage, and this time in more ways than one. The country's increasing role in the global economy is evident in its phenomenal growth in foreign direct investment. 
The surge in FDI is a clear indication of the world's growing confidence in India's economic stability and potential. It's not just about the numbers, it's about the global recognition of India's economic prowess. But the country's global influence doesn't stop at economics, it extends to military power as well. India is steadily rising as a formidable military power, bolstering its defense capabilities while maintaining a stance of peace and stability. This balance between power and peace has earned India respect and recognition on the international stage, further enhancing its global image. And then there's the final frontier, space. India's advancements in space exploration have been nothing short of extraordinary. From launching a record-breaking 104 satellites in a single mission, to successfully sending a probe to Mars on a budget less than the production cost of a Hollywood movie, India has proved that it is a force to be reckoned with in the realm of space exploration. These achievements not only reflect India's technological prowess, but also its ambition to be a global leader in innovation and exploration. These factors, the surge in FDI, the rise in military power, and the advancements in space exploration, are all contributing to India's economic growth and global image. They're not just milestones, they're stepping stones towards a more prosperous and influential India. As India continues to grow, it not only uplifts its own citizens, but also influences the global economy. This is not just a prediction, but a promise. A promise of a stronger, more prosperous India that is ready to take on the world. The road to becoming a $30 trillion economy is not easy, but India is paving its way. The path is laden with challenges, yet brimming with opportunities. From infrastructural development to technological advancements, from enhancing the quality of education to strengthening the health sector, every aspect plays a crucial role in this journey. The Indian government has laid out a clear vision, coupled with strategic initiatives and policies. These are designed to foster innovation, attract foreign direct investments, boost entrepreneurship, and ultimately drive economic growth. One such initiative is the Make in India campaign, aiming to transform the nation into a global manufacturing hub. Then there's the Digital India Initiative, harnessing the power of technology to provide digital infrastructure and internet connectivity to every corner of the country. Moreover, India is also focusing on green and sustainable development. It's investing heavily in renewable energy, aiming to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change, all while fueling economic growth. However, the road to 30 trillion is not just about economic policies, it's also about empowering every citizen, fostering a culture of inclusivity, and creating opportunities for all. The journey is ambitious and the challenges are many. But with its strategic vision, unwavering resilience, and the indomitable spirit of its people, India is steadily moving towards its goal. Only time will tell whether India will achieve its ambitious vision, but the journey is certainly worth watching. India's economic journey is a story of resilience, ambition, and potential. It's a narrative of a nation's relentless pursuit of prosperity marked by impressive GDP growth, significant foreign direct investments, and a formidable presence in the military and space sectors. Looking ahead to the year 2047, India's vision is clear – to transform into a staggering $30 trillion economy. As we continue to observe India's economic journey, we can only anticipate what this vibrant nation has in store for its future.